Hey Pisces, welcome to my channel, my name is Katie and today I am doing this reading for the beautiful, beautiful Pisces that are celebrating their happy birthday today, February 23rd. Happy birthday, my fishies. I love you guys so much. I wish you have an incredible cycle ahead of you, a blank canvas that you can work with this next year. I hope that you have fun and blessings and abundance and good health and love all things good my fishies thank you so much for being here let's see what the messages of the universe have to say for you in this very special day i hope that you have a great day as well let me know below how are you gonna be how are you gonna be celebrating your birthday i want to know <laughs> oh my god the star no less no less the card of wish fulfillment the card of Dreams come true, card of healing, the universe satisfying your desires. I think, Pisces, with this card coming up as the first card, I think that the universe has a very special gift for you. Some of you guys have already received it. Some of you guys are expecting it. Others of you have no idea what this is. But I feel like this is going to be so beautiful. And I think this is going to be a gift from God and the universe for your birthday. The challenge here, Ten of Swords. This is an intense reading already, you guys. <laughs> These are strong energies. Highs that are very high and low that are lows that are really low. The Ten of Swords is a low. But it is coming up in the challenge position, so... It's the place for that card to be. <laughs> we don't want it in the future. We don't want it in your energy. We want it as a challenge. That's all right. The Ten of Swords as a challenge means that you are still perhaps recovering from certain things. You may be putting your life back together after some kind of rock bottom. That is a possibility. Some of you guys are facing endings that you are choosing that are going to be happening soon you know in here we see her with her bags already packed she seems to be drying up a tear and i feel like she has chosen to move on from something and even though it's very promising it could potentially be also kind of sad some of you guys could be traveling back home some of you guys could be, you know, either experiencing some kind of like divorce and therefore going back home or experiencing the end of travel and going back home. Maybe you're choosing to move out for whatever reason, you know, but it brings a sense of nostalgia, perhaps. In the recent past, Eight of Wands. Recently, things may have sort of like really picked up and changed dramatically fast. It's like one day your plans are this way and then the next day something changes and then the next day something changes. And before you know it, you're in a whole new life in a whole new place in space. Some of you guys have maybe recently traveled. The Eight of Wands is a card of traveling, fast moving energies international international connections maybe even relationships with people who are in different countries than you are things like that in your mind space the fool so this is interesting pisces i feel like there's a part of you that is super excited for the new beginnings super ready you want to experience this new life, this new adventure, whatever it is, however it resonates for you. It's like you want this. You want to feel inspired and motivated again. You want to feel that passion of new beginnings. But at the same time, you know, it may be a little hard to leave some things behind. Every time that we have a new beginning, there is an ending attached to it. Six of Cups. Some of you guys could... Yeah, I mean... <laughs> The Six of Cups is a card of nostalgia, you know, romanticizing the past, 
feeling like, wow, I'm really gonna miss this. I'm really gonna miss how this phase of my life felt. Maybe you know that there's something better for you waiting. Maybe you know that what you're heading towards is a gift from God and it's amazing. But there's a sense of, you know, a little bit of grief over what you're leaving behind, perhaps. Very natural, Pisces. Very natural. It's good to be aware of it, though. What the universe wants you to know is the Seven of Cups. You may feel, at times, like you don't know what's going on. Sometimes you may feel like you don't have the answers, like you're maybe getting ahead of yourself in regards to something, like maybe you're moving too fast, things can feel confusing. But what the universe is telling you here is that even though that's the case, you're still headed in the right direction. Like God and the universe are taking you where you need to go. So you can sort of surrender control a little bit and just let yourself fall where you may <laughs> you know what i mean because you will be directed exactly where you need to go you don't have to worry about that and you don't you don't have to worry about having all the answers because right now it may feel uh rather confusing you may feel like things are foggy sometimes cloudy sometimes you feel super ready for this new beginning and sometimes you're like oh i don't know if i'm ready yet you know we have a lot of yellow so I think that right now you could be potentially dealing with your solar plexus chakra, maybe your self-esteem, your self-empowerment, your vital energy. But I think that you're also going to be very successful, Pisces, very bright and shiny, very powerful. And maybe that's not what you're looking for. Maybe that's not your goal, um, but it's kind of like a byproduct, I guess. You are being represented right now as a higher fence. So, Pisces, some of you guys are maybe going abroad to study or work. Some of you guys are maybe starting some courses or, you know, university or certifications, online courses, books. I feel like some of you are really interested in getting to know and learn everything there is about something. You yourself are very spiritual Pisces in nature, very intuitive. And I think that all Pisces in a way are sort of like this figure of enlightenment. And I'm, I, I'm not meaning that in like a guru, you know, whatever kind of way. I mean that as in Pisces tend to be very wise souls innately. Because, I mean, Pisces sort of is the last sign of the zodiac, right? Pisces holds the wisdom, the light and the shadow of all previous signs. Because to be incarnated as a Pisces, I understand, I'm not an astrologer, but I've heard <laughs> that in order to, to incarnate as a Pisces, you sort of like have already been all the other signs at some point. I don't know if this, this is true. Um, but I do know that Pisces tend to be very wise people innately. So you being represented as a higher friend in this reading is letting me know that your starting structures could be spiritual in nature, could be educational, right? Just try not to fall into very strict standards. Try to keep an open mind. Just because you're learning everything about something does not mean that all the other things are not true. So let's say that you are absolutely obsessed with Reiki and you're learning everything there is to know about Reiki. There are going to be some beliefs that clash perhaps with yoga or shamanism or whatever. And it is good to keep an open mind. And to be an observer and say, okay, in Reiki, they see this particular issue this way. And in shamanism, they see it this way. And in yoga, they see it that way. For me, this is the one that resonates the most. Or I'm going to make sort of like a mix of everything that resonates with me. Instead of going more into this, well, Reiki said so. So yoga is wrong and shamanism is wrong and all ancient cultures are wrong. <laughs> you know, because the Hierophant does have that kind of like, 
my way or the highway aspect to it, right? It's like this religious figure who is very set in his, in his or her ways. And ultimately that prevents them from opening up to new possibilities and additional benefits and good things because they're closed off to new perspectives, right? So it's important for you to keep that in mind. In your environment, you've got the Ace of Pentacles. By the way, this is a pinup girl tarot. You can get it on Etsy. It's super cute, good quality. With the Ace of Pentacles in your environment, I feel like the universe really wants to spoil you at this time. It's like, there's going to be ideas, proposals, abundance, prosperity, success, all around you. Lots of success in the physical realm, because the pentacles are referring to the physical realm. And the ace is new beginnings in that area as well. So if you're wishing for success um, in something that has to do with the physical world, I think that's maybe you know, sort of like the path that this gift is going to be given to you in. As far as hopes and fears, you've got the Ace of Cups. Maybe some of you guys would also love to develop some kind of romantic connection with someone. Could be a soulmate from the past with that Six of Cups here. Could be an Aquarius for some of you. Could be a Gemini. Could be a Taurus. Some of you really want this um, new beginning in love, but you're also kind of scared of it. Maybe you don't know if it's the right time. Especially if you're like moving away or something. For the outcome card, you've got the Two of Wands, which is beautiful. The Two of Wands means that you're exactly where you need to be. <laughs> For me as a reader, it's like the path ahead of you is the right path. Any kind of obstacle that may possibly appear can be um, definitely overcome by you. And, you know, it is even likely that you're actually not going to get any kind of obstacle, so. Oh, wait, what? I swear to God, I saw the two of wands. This is the ten of wands. What? All right, that's super interesting. Maybe that, that recent message, even though it was a mistake... Maybe it wasn't a mistake. Maybe that actually resonated with some with some of you. The Ten of Wands, however, is very different of to the Two of Wands. The Ten of Wands is a card of being burdened. So Pisces, beware of this whole experience not being too intense for you. Meaning that um, there could be times in which you feel like there is a lot going on really fast, and it may feel very intense. So try to be patient with yourself. Try to take things as they come. You don't have to do everything so quickly. Um, I don't read reversals, but I can't help to, you know, see how this was upright and just like suddenly turned, right? Um, some of you guys, I think, that are going to go through an initial period that could be a little burdensome, especially if you're like traveling, moving, things like that. But I feel like after that, it's like all... Not all of them, because, I mean, but many burdens are going to be lifted from you. And I feel like you're going to be experiencing a more harmonious physical experience, if that makes sense. In the sense of, like, money and your work, maybe your education, I feel like things are going to be easier once you get settled into it. But I feel like it may be a little burdensome as a transition into that. Again, Ten of Wands. So definitely be aware of that burden, okay? Try to sleep as much as you can. Take care of yourself. Nine of Swords peeking out here. So that could be you experiencing some anxiety. Some of you guys... Um, could very well be very excited about everything that's going on, but it may involve lots to do. And that, if you let it, is going to 
come at you as anxiety. Okay, so, you know, if you really need to slow down, slow down. If you really need to, like, stop altogether just to take a nap, a six-hour nap or whatever it is that you need, Pisces love to sleep. <laughs> and that's, I think, how we rechar recharge and how our subconscious uh, sort of, like, has the time to organize everything that we're feeling because we tend to feel so much more than the average person. We're perceiving information in the physical, in the mental, in the psychic realms, you know, in the healing realm, sometimes past life, sometimes mediumship, sometimes um, divination. It's just all happening at once for Pisces, consciously or unconsciously, and it may be a lot. So that's, I feel, how or why Pisces has to sleep so much to integrate all of that. Um, so, you know, if you feel anxious, overburdened, a good way to keep yourself going is to actually take a break. Because if you push, 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 push yourself through the whole thing, the whole way, you may think that you're making progress. But I feel like you're going to have less and less quality in you showing up. Like every time you push yourself to do something, the quality of what you're doing seems to be diminished. You may not notice but because of that exhaustion. So what you should do instead, at least what the cards are saying, um, take it if it resonates, is to actually take a step back every time that you're feeling incredibly burdened and just exhausted and rest and then start all over again, all right? I love you, my fishies. Happy birthday. I hope that this birthday gift um, shows you how much I love you and how much I honor you and how important you are in my life. I don't know if you know how important you guys are in my life. So, happy birthday. I hope that you have a lovely day, lovely cycle ahead of you. Many blessings to you and your loved ones. And a very, very warm hug from me <laughs> in your birthday. All right, I'll see you very soon, you guys. Um, know that we have a sale 50% off in all the courses on our website. So if you want to get yourself a little treat, um, you can check them out. All right, I love you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.